Hello and welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. Today's video is all about Kindra's Card Challenge 7, Video Hop and Giveaway. Crafters participating in the hop today will be sharing a project that was created using each of the 15 card sketches from the new quarterly card making challenge. I will be sharing card sketch 4. Plus there will be a giveaway prize for the video hop, so make sure you comment and subscribe at each stop along the way. Okay, so as I said earlier, I'm doing sketch number four. So pretty much I just decided to use some colored cardstock as my base and the two pieces of the paper that were from the six pieces of paper that I did the cut. And I always like to ink the edges of mine just because I think it makes it pop up off the card a little bit better, gives it more of a finished look. I don't necessarily ink blend everything. Sometimes just tapping it in the ink pad like that is all it needs. So I'm just going to attach, um, those are my main papers there that you see in this sketch. Now looking at her sketch, it looked like that little piece was matted, so I decided to go ahead and mat it with just some craft card stock here, and I'm just using some glue as my adhesive on this one. I kind of mix between using liquid adhesive and two, you know, double-sided adhesive, depending on um, how large the piece is, because I'm trying not to get my card too wet, too warpy. While I'm attaching this piece on there, I just want to remind you that at the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. And I hope you take time to watch all the hot videos, because we love your comments and thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing and click on that little bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. You can also use the hashtag KC7GiveawayHop to find all of the videos in this hop. And you'll want to check out the description box below for details on how to enter. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by nor an affiliate of any of the products you see me use in today's video. All these goodies are items I have purchased in previous years and have in my stash. Okay, so I get that main piece down and make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm going to just take a piece of uh, solid cardstock here. It does actually have a little bit of a texture on it. It doesn't show up on camera very well, but there is kind of this leafy floral texture to it. And um, it's almost like it was lightly embossed. And uh, so that's why I decided to use this particular piece and secure that down. And I'm just kind of cleaning up. It looked like I had a little mark there. Okay, so I think I'm wanting to pop up the strip there where because I'm also going to put my sentiment on that. Now, the description, um, I mean, the sketch says any shape. So I used a sticker of a bicycle shape. I took the sticker and I stuck it onto some craft card stock and then cut that out and so that it would have a little bit more strength. And then I used all these other little glittery products, whether it be Nuvo Drops or Stickles or a Shimmer Pin all those things to really sparkle up that bicycle a lot and make it a really pretty embellishment. Next I want to go ahead and pop that up on some foam tape just to make it stand out away from those other bikes that are in that um, patterned paper. I love doing Kendra's car challenges because it really helps me use my patterned paper completely, you know, when I have those six pieces and I'm cutting them up, it's like, well, I'm just using all of this, and I love doing that. I have so much fun in, your cha in her challenges, and so I really hope that you decide to uh, join in. It's just a fun, fun activity, and you get to meet a lot of nice people that are doing this challenge, too, and with all the prizes, it just even makes it more fun. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and attach this bicycle here. And then I'm going to work on that sentiment strip that's there. And I'm trying to weight that down to hold that in place for it to dry a little bit. Now for the sentiment strip, what I did was I took three pieces of, of just scrap paper, in two in the green and one in the craft, and I cut out the sentiment three times and I layered it with the brown in the middle. And that way it just pops it up a little bit. It helps make it stand out a little bit more. And so that, that we can do that. We can do that pretty much with any time you have a sentiment that you want to stand out. 
I, this is something that I see a lot of other card makers do and I've been doing for years. I just think that helps when you layer up that card stock. And this is just going to be say simple little happy birthday. But of course you could use any sentiment, and especially with that bicycle. I could have put anything like, you know, missing you or uh, anything, but I chose happy birthday because it seems like I use birthday cards more than any other card. Once I got that all on there, I'm going to attach that to my card. And I like that the uh, this particular sketch said that we could use any shape for that little main focus point there because I chose a bicycle shape. But again, you could use, on yours, you could use any shape that you have. I'm going to go ahead and pop up the sentiment here with a little bit of foam tape just to give it a slightly higher dimension there and that will coordinate nice with the bicycle since that's the same foam tape that I use and you'll notice I also put a little dots of glue on the back of my foam tape that's some Dollar Tree foam tape and it sticks really well for you know like a little bit but if anybody keeps the card for any amount of time I find if I don't add some liquid adhesive that will eventually pop off and so the liquid with the liquid adhesive I haven't seemed to have that problem with it popping off and then I decided that that happy birthday needed just a little bit more oomph because the bicycle had some shimmer to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer pin to my happy birthday and then this card will be all done. I'd like you to, I, you know, would like to invite you to join in on the challenge. It's open to card makers worldwide and there are many prizes to be won throughout the quarter from some amazing companies. Links to where you can download the free PDF and other important information can be found in my description box below. So thank you for visiting my channel and happy paper crafting!